Next up for a facial bone series is a bilateral projection to show the zygomatic arches. We're gonna have our patient in the same position uh, for as if we were doing an SMV of the sinuses. You can collimate down. You don't need to include all of the sphenoid sinus. Your area of interest is the zygomatic arch itself, which kind of extends from the patient's cheekbone back to the EAM. So if you can frame it with those two landmarks in mind. So I have a small, a tight, little horizontal collimated field. I can put my marker on in advance, which I really recommend. And then you're gonna have the patient come back over and then have a seat in the chair, please. Same criteria, we want the IOML perpendicular to the floor. So that's gonna have the patient's, the top of the patient's head against the bucky chin level with the forehead. So go ahead and bring your head all the way back. You may need to have them scoot their hips forward. You may also have to adjust the chair. We've got a little more distance here between the patient and the bucky than I want. So bring your head back up, please. And then we're gonna, we need to scoot the chair back an inch or two. That should do it. This is not easy for your patient. So try not to leave them like this for very long. You wanna be very efficient when you are positioning for this. So I'm gonna uh, have my central ray going about an inch posterior to the outer canthus, but I can frame this between my two landmarks, the patient's cheekbone and the EAM. And then I can just line up the bucky. I'm going to check for tilt and rotation. So the patient's nose shadow should be coming straight up that or the uh, vertical line on the bucky. And for tilt, I'm just looking at the chin versus the top of the head. I need you to turn your head slightly to follow. Stop right there. That went a little too far. Okay, so this will be bilateral zygomatic arches.